All right, internet, it's Simon Miller here. And look, I've got another wrestling video for you, this time from EWA. Now, this one actually went down in September, but after chatting to the awesome guys at EWA. By the way, if you are watching this today that goes live, which is the 9th of January, uh, on the 11th of January, so Saturday, I am wrestling for them again at High Wycombe Judo Center. So if you're in and around the area, come on down. But they mentioned to me, Simon, we've got this footage of you taking on Andy Simmons. Now... If you are any kind of British wrestling fan, you will know who Andy Simmons is. I mean, he's the guy that first trained me when I tried to get into professional wrestling and then I stopped for various reasons. We'll talk about that one day. So this, to me, was really special. This meant a lot to me. It was a kind of out-of-body experience in many ways. You may think I'm gushing a little too much. But when you've watched someone for that long and you've read about them and then you're in the ring with them, you're like, wow, this is a... This is an odd set of circumstances, but I really like the match as well. It was kind of, he's so good. Well, he's good at everything, but he's so good at the fundamentals and the basics that he just, I'm going to say he made things, he did make things easy. Like even there when um, he went to give me the hip toss. Now, I wasn't meant to sort of jiggle around as much as I did, but I actually thought it kind of looked more realistic because I did do that. And that's one of the cool things that you learn by watching this stuff back. Also, I enjoyed my pace here. That's right. Run, Simon, run. You're trying to win. You're trying to win. So, and this clothesline could have been higher. I admit that. That's right on his chest. That's just not a good clothesline. But I will say, again, this was back in September, which is what, three or four months ago. And I don't think I would do that now. I do think that I have grown, or at least I hope I have. If I haven't, I need to, I need to work on that. But look at him. Cheap shotting me in the face there a few minutes ago. Acted like he was a good guy. Didn't care that I have all this respect for him. And now he takes over and starts to whip my ass. Because again, he's Andy Simmons. He knows, he knows what the hell he's doing. But it is one of the coolest things about potentially, I guess, getting into wrestling later in life. Right on my damn, damn shoulder. My bad one too. Not true. They're both bad. The other one's worse. But yeah, but getting into wrestling like this later in life. I don't know. Would I have gotten these kind of experiences when I was younger? I have absolutely no idea. Here's another one as well. Thought I had the upper hand. Smashed. Smashed right in my damn my damn face. Look at him. He doesn't care at all, damn Andy Boy Simmons, as much as I respect you. And he smashed me right in the face there too. I will say this. I know that uh, people go, oh, I know what wrestling is and I get it. And of course you do. You know, you understand. It is still no picnic in there. Like things hurt. I don't want to be that guy, but it is true because I know sometimes people stumble across these videos from other things that I've done. They don't even know that I'm a, that I'm a wrestler. Like, oh, it's that fake stuff. And I don't, again, I, I have no right to say this. I'm still green as grass, but you know, I hurt a lot more today <laughs> than I did a few months ago. And here he just decides to stretch me as well. Not the most flattering position to be in. Um, but I mean, I, again, I don't want to I don't want to pull back the curtain too much. But the way he plies moves and the way he locks everything in. I learned so much from him in this match. Like the experience I got from here. I like this as well. Blast through his clothesline. Uh, give him one of my own. Again, too low. Simple as that. Too low. But hopefully, you know, I've watched it back and I, w I will improve. That's all you can do. We're all going to make mistakes. And I know someone's going to call me a crap wrestler. Happened early this morning. Made me laugh. I like this as well. Stinger splash. I need to do this more. The Northern Light suplex. I only saw that back the other day. My right arm went a bit uh, a bit funny there but i like the bridge and i actually i thought that was kind of decent given that was the first time i've done it in a professional wrestling uh well a show environment i've done it in training a while so yeah they're the kind of things i want to add like we keep talking about my moves i love the back suplex as you know if you watch any of my matches i absolutely love it i don't know why it's fun to hear i think it looks good but yeah we're still trying to put all those pieces together and that really is one of the most fun things about professional wrestling in general. You do start to realize you can paint your own canvas. I like this too. Again, just you know, throwing massive clotheslines because the idea of the story here was that I am the rookie, which I am, and Andy Boy Simmons has a ridiculous amount of years under his belt, and he used that against me. I'm throwing bombs. I'm not concentrating. And of course, he beats me with the most devastating move in all of sports entertainment, the surprise roll-up. Although that wasn't even a surprise because I thought the cool thing that we actually planned there was to kind of fight it out a little bit and make it look like, you know, he used his own momentum, his own weight to, to, to get me down. Obviously, afterwards, get the respect, get the shaking of the hands. I doubt that meant anything for him, but man, did it mean a hell of a lot for me. And I had a really, really good time. So thank you to Andy Simmons. Thank you, EWA. Again, I'm there on Saturday, 11th of January. You can get tickets uh, using the link below as well. So check that out if you do want to come, and I'll chat to you when I chat to you.